larger history of independent movement building efforts, which isn't always, always necessarily a, a, you know, a political party building effort, um, but it's, uh, so there are a number of, of, of efforts throughout American history. So let's go through some of that. Um, <clears throat> just to give you a sense, so if you were, if you were to say, okay, where's the starting point? Oh, you can't say, okay. um, if, it, if there's a starting point in terms of independent black politics, independent politics, you point to the 1840 formation of the Liberty Party. It was the first anti-slavery party. The organizers of the Liberty Party were very clear that they were not running their candidates to win office. They were running their candidates to raise the issue of abolishing slavery. They wanted to, in some ways, use that as a venue where they could push the politicians in office to take a position. And so it was a tactic of the abolitionists of the 1830s, which culminates in the formation of the Liberty Party. And they did play an important role in some elections, including in New York State, uh, Massachusetts, and others, serving sort of as a balance of power, sort of in, the, in the, being sort of a critical margin of victory, um, or you know, making sure that a candidate wasn't a win. So the way they did that is they basically interviewed candidates or had them basically take a position publicly of where they stood on, on slavery. So this, this effort continued into the 1850s, and it was marginal for, for most of the 1840s. But in the 1850s, you start to see the emergence of a new coalition, which is made up of black abolitionists and white abolitionists and other forces which would become the Republican Party. The Republican Party is actually the only third party, if you will, that has won uh, nationally. And it has been in power since you know, 1860. And so um, the Republican Party was a coalition of different forces. And you see the ongoing work of organizers to try to bring together various forces to advance independent of oh, the, the political and uh, economic rights of African Americans. The Civil War will, will produce enormous amounts of violence, and it will also produce liberation, as we know. Four million people will gain, will gain their freedom, uh, and with the, the abolition of slavery in 1965 with the 13th Amendment. And, and the period of Reconstruction will be ushered in. Reconstruction was the effort to rebuild the infrastructure and the political institutions, institutions in the South. Um, along more democratic lines, small d. Mm -hmm. That period will continue up until 1877. Over 600 African Americans are elected to office. It just saw a sort of a flurry of activity. And what's interesting is that in terms of the scholars writing about this and the history of books, for, mo for, for about 50 years, 60 years after uh, the end of Reconstruction, it was talked about in strictly a horrible period in American history where basically these illiterate black people are in office and the country's run amok and all that. It was actually W.E.B. Du Bois, who in the 1930s wrote this book called Black Reconstruction, said, wait, 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 wait a second. That was a movement that was trying to advance democracy. It just didn't go far enough. Ultimately, what the failure of Reconstruction was that the land that people, that made people independent, was taken from them and put back into the old plantation class. There were also deals that were cut uh, between the Democrats and Republicans to keep themselves in power and not have to deal with this black mass of people in the South. So Reconstruction ends, and traditionally, how people have talked about the period thereafter is as this sort of black hole, if you will. As if like nothing's happening. Like basically black people are like, okay, well, I guess that was that. Right? Sharecropping is getting people more and more into debt, people are being more and more marginalized, economically speaking, and also politically speaking. 